Hey folks, Rob here. And uh, if you watch my previous two videos that are uploading, I took the uh, barkeep out today and shot it off the bench and also the TX-22. Uh, but the whole purpose of this video is uh, that, uh, you know, uh, I'm almost 58 years old and I'm kind of a creature of habit. And I've always done things the same way uh, throughout my life. But uh, uh, I recently picked up a can of CLP. Now everybody um, brags about this and uh, how well it does. I, I, I have no idea about this stuff. I've never used it. I don't, I don't really honestly don't know how to use it. Do you use it like oil? Um, from what I read on the can, you spray it on, you know, a brush or something helps uh, break up the stuff. And basically wipe it off and it's lubricated. If I'm doing that wrong, then, uh, you know, chime in there and let me know. But uh, I thought I would move into the 21st century and try some of this stuff out and see how it runs, how it works. Uh, see what all the hype's about. So anyway, our first gun we'll clean is our... Heritage Barkeep, and uh, of course, uh, these are these are empties from where I fired it earlier. And since I didn't bring my rod out, <laughs> my little ejector rod, I'll have to do this. And I wanted to demonstrate this anyway. If you uh, forget your, and that's part of the, I've been meaning to do this and leave some in there. And, but if you're at the range and you forget your little poker outer, which is what I just did in the house, uh, you can take your ejector, uh, your cylinder pin, and you can push those right out. So your cylinder pin will work as an ejector uh, for your empties. Now is it ideal to have to pull your cylinder out to, uh, to remove your empties? Probably not, but you know, in a pinch, it'll work so anyway i'm kind of glad i left them in there so i could demonstrate that i'd been laying off to cover that for a while and uh but just hadn't never done it so that actually works out pretty good so from what i can gather uh you would basically do this just like you would maybe i'm going to forgo the hoppies i'm not going to use the hoppies i'm just going to i guess spray some of this and you guys that know about this stuff, you know, if I'm doing this wrong, please let me know. Because, like I said, this is this is new territory to me. But I will take the CLP and the brush, just like I was using hoppies, and just kind of go over the gun. And just get any burnt powder residue and off the gun uh, we're going to take our bore brush and I'll actually spray a little bit on my bore brush and we'll just run that through each cylinder like I said I have never used this stuff so I this is uncharted territory for me at one time I did try some of the Lucas uh, gun oil it was red and uh it it stunk so bad that it would literally almost make me sick i don't know what it was about that uh that gun oil but it was uh i could not stand the smell of it it uh had a smell that uh, actually made me nauseous so with that uh we've uh, run our brush through i'm gonna take a little and I don't know, I may be using this wrong, but I'm going to spray a little bit on this. Just to wet it down a little bit. Well, like I say, guys, you, you guys that use this stuff, let me know if I'm doing this wrong. Because I know nothing about this stuff. I know it's supposed to have been developed for the military, so I, know, I would think it would be a pretty good lubricant and cleaner and protectant so 
Let's get us another jag here. I'm just going to forego the uh, putting it on the jag because I, I feel like there's enough in the cylinder to... Uh, To clean it. Sorry about that. I'm reaching across in front of the camera. My new camera mount. I, I mounted this uh, redneck uh, camera mount to the wall. I think I mounted it a little too low. I probably should have put it up a little higher to give a little wider view of the table. And that's something I may change here. Uh, but. Uh, all right, so we went through all of our cylinders with that. I'm just going to put the 22 bore mop on here and just uh, go through and just uh, just go through and, and just take any final powder residue or anything of that nature. As soon as I get an order up for Amazon, I'm going to order a a, a 22 bore snake. Uh, Tools and Targets uh, recommended one uh, that uh, he uses, and I've been wanting to get a 22 caliber pistol boar snake. And uh, when I next time I order, I'm gonna pick that up. I just haven't ordered from Amazon in a while. Well, anyway, that looks the cylinders look clean. Uh, it feels lubricated. I mean, I don't know how much you would want to leave on the surface. Like I said, guys, this is uncharted territory for me, so um, probably my best bet right here would be to spray a little bit on this brush and take it in here inside my frame, go around my forcing cone in front of this. So this kind of, if I'm uh, using this right, then this kind of eliminates the need for hoppies and oil so this is kind of a all-in-one deal right here so uh, i'll take my rag wipe that off any powder residue it might be on it Like I said, guys, I, I know nothing about this stuff. This is this is uncharted territory for me. So you guys that use CLP forever, uh, chime in. Let me know if I'm doing this right. I'm just going to put a little dab on the end of the bear. Well, spray it all the way through. Let's put a little bit on our brush. This is why I don't use, like a cleaning rod. But that's all I have right now. Like I said, I am going to order a, uh, a boar snake for 22. Been on my short list of things to get here lately. But between um, gun purchases and and uh, ammo and life in general sometimes the uh, funds to order something that's even as inexpensive as a boar snake is just has to wait a few days so we're going to swab out our barrel it looked like that took quite a bit of stuff off of it we'll run our boar snake or our mop through and let's see if we can see down this board i don't know if you can see that or not let's put a something white in there see if we can get some light down there and get y'all a look down the board oh, i can see the rifle looks looks pretty clean so, anyway, so we've got our cylinder cleaned. I'm going to wipe off this. We'll put just a little bit of this 
CLP on that rod. Let me just rub it in with my finger. We'll reinstall our cylinder. And reinstall our cylinder pin. Now, uh, do you use this as a lubricant as well? I mean, do you? It comes with this little nozzle. If I can get it out. Well. I can't get it to go in there. Right there, maybe it went. So anyway. Would it hurt to put a little bit down in the action? Is this... Is this something that you would do or not? That may be too much. Because I do like to put a little bit uh, down in the action of the gun. Honestly, I should have put a little bit. Oh, I got plenty in there. There's, It's running out. Overdone a little bit. So I'm going to wipe some of this excess off, and we'll just let her go with that. Seems pretty slick. Anyway, like I said, guys, this is, I have never used this. I have no idea how to use it, and uh, if I'm using it properly or not, am I using too much? I would think you need just a light coating. Anyway, so there is the barkeep cleaned with CLP. First time ever using it, guys. So, anyway, we'll set that aside. Now we have our Taurus TX-22. We shot it today. Uh, I'm going to check it for make sure it is unloaded and, and safe. It is. Nothing in the chamber. No magazine. We're going to pull the trigger. We're going to pull back slightly. Pull down on our tabs. Take the cylinder off. So it's not really dirty. Um, I'm going to put just a drop. So I don't know how much of this stuff to use. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to try to wipe the um, as much of it back off as I can. I just don't want to be like it was before when I over and it, it wouldn't function. Because I over it. So there's a light coating of the CLP on the frame. I'm going to wipe off. As much as I can get off. Make sure to get back in here good around all these little springs and such. Like I said, this is I don't I'm not sure how much of this that you would want to leave on your gun. I know there are a lot of knowledgeable people out there who know a lot more about this uh this kind of thing than I do and I'll be the first to admit like I said I'm a creature of habit I've done things the same way for years and uh, sometimes you know I'm just a little hesitant to change but I will admit when you know if something's better I'm all for it so anyway the gun don't look too dirty of course I didn't put too many rounds through it today but uh, we're gonna put a little bit of CLP down the bore, a little bit there, I'm going to take my bore brush and go down the, the bore of this, and, sorry guys, I don't, I don't mean to make these videos long that they're 
they're boring and nobody wants to watch them, I know. But, uh, you know, this is just me uh, learning. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm 58 years old, or almost. But, uh, you know, I still learn stuff all the time. And uh, that's the beauty of YouTube is it's a, a great learning resource. And, you know, when I first started watching YouTube, it was to find out how to do things. I think one of the first times I ever watched YouTube, I had a problem with my uh, air conditioning unit, my heat pump, or the condenser, the outside unit of my heat pump. And uh, uh, I had a guy come look at it, and he uh, said I needed to replace the whole unit because the uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, uh, the compressor wouldn't kick in. So I went on YouTube and got to watching some YouTube videos. Come to find out there's a there's a relay um on your on your unit outside that uh your starter relay and if that starter relay goes bad then your compressor won't kick in so uh it showed you how to how to check it to make sure if that's see what that the problem was and and i did that and sure enough my my uh, relay on my unit was bad and uh so i went out to a local place and and picked up the the relay it was like 15 dollars, and i took it home and watched a youtube video on how to change it out and uh my air conditioner running took off and started running again and worked perfectly after that so uh i had a guy trying to sell me on a several thousand dollar uh unit that uh that he knew i didn't need that i just needed a relay so that's that was my first uh delving into uh, youtube was more or less just to learn about things that i had that i needed to work on or or needed some information on and then it got to where you know i'd watch it if i was interested in purchasing something new or uh, i would see what other people had to say about it you know, I rely fairly heavy on uh, other people's uh, reviews. Of course, there's hundreds of reviews on any one thing you wanna, you wanna, you're interested in. So you gotta kind of, you know, filter through them. And you may have to watch, you know, you may have to watch a whole bunch of videos in order to uh, come away with the uh, information that you really want, or a consistent, a consensus of what the, uh, what the truth is. Because you know, some people. Uh, some people profit from it, so it's in their best interest to, uh, tell you what they want to tell you, just like the, uh, guy that come to check out my air conditioning unit. So, uh, and I look at that way about, about firearms too. I mean, you got to, uh, you got to kind of watch a bunch of videos and try to find, uh, channels that you know or think you can trust to uh, tell you the truth about things. So anyway, I've uh, cleaned out the slide. It's got a got a coating of CLP on it. I'm gonna reinsert the barrel, reinsert the guide rod and the spring, your recoil spring. And now here's a, a point, do, do no, I'm not going to put any more CLP on that. I'm just going to let it ride. I think there's enough residual in there that, uh, and if I'm doing this wrong, let me know. So I'm going to reinstall my, my slide. And check it for function. And we'll wipe it off. Gonna spray a drop on the surface, and we're just gonna take. Although this is anodized aluminum, maybe that will help protect it just a little bit. Keep some of the protect the anodization. I don't know that to be the fact, but if you do, then chime in there and let me know. So there is the Taurus cleaned, and. The Heritage Bar Key. Anyway, guys, thought I'd just uh, make this video. Just going over, uh, you know.
you know, using the uh, CLP, thought I'd uh, let you guys chime in and let me know if I've done this right. So I appreciate everybody watching, taking the time to uh, leave comments and thumbs up. And uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I appreciate everybody that does subscribe. And uh, until the next video, uh, we'll see you on the next one. It'll probably be a little while. I'm getting ready to start tomorrow evening. They uh, work seven 12-hour shifts. So it's going to be uh, work and sleep for the next uh, seven days straight. And uh, so probably won't be no videos for the next seven to ten days. Uh, uh, so just keep you all uh, in the breast of what's going on. Anyway, I appreciate it. Until the next video, we'll see you later.